my name is Kayla and welcome or welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing a different video than I normally do because I'm kind of having almost a lazy day and also people have requested to see what's behind me I'd first like to talk a little bit about the makeup that I did today for my eyes I used the new Huda Beauty pastels mint palette which I found really pretty and I made a little simple minty green kind of look which I really ended up liking. And for my lips I used a combination of the Jeffree Star collaboration with Morphe liquid lipsticks in the shade Leo and Mannequin and then I topped it with the gloss in the shade Iridescent Throne which is from the Bloodlust collection. And in the description I will be linking down every single Jeffree Star video that I've done just because I've used most of these products and in the future I will continue to use more products. Also, the highlight that I'm using today is gorgeous. It's the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in the shade Rose Gold. And this is my first time using it, and it is so pretty. That combined with the lip and the eyes, I ended up really liking my makeup today. I wasn't sure that the lips were going to match the eyes until I topped it with the gloss, which really made it so much better. If you like this video, don't forget to like the video. Let me know what you have, what you like, what you wish you had in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my video. I am putting out videos every single Wednesday. Ring the bell if you want to be notified when I put out a new video. I do all kinds of makeup videos. And without further ado, let's get started. So I don't see very many videos specifying certain products. I've been looking for a lot of videos on a list of everybody's Jeffree Star mirrors or their collections or a list in general of all of them and I've been trying to collect them all. So I believe I have 12 of them and there's six more on the way. The ones that are on the way are the pink pig, the pearlescent pig, the black pig because I didn't have those from the conspiracy collection, breakfast at Tiffany's, blow pony, and the peach chrome one and maybe a few more coming. So that's super, super exciting. Can't wait to add those to my collection. I do have them lined up really cute, but I eventually will be making a curtain rod to do a mirror curtain behind me here. So let's start with my mirror collection. I have the Bloodlust Purple Crown Mirror, which you've seen in a lot of my videos. I have the Green Glitter Pig, which you've also seen in my videos. I have all three of the 420 collection mirrors. For the 420 collection, it's the green chrome, the regular green, and the soft touch mint. I have the other Bloodlust collection mirrors, which is the purple glitter and the soft touch lavender. I also have the purple chrome mirror. I have the iridescent one, which is so cool. Like in some lights it looks green, sometimes it looks pinkish. I have the one I used today, which is the onyx. And then I also have the black, and here's the black and the onyx next to each other. It's kind of hard to tell. They look identical, but they're not. This one's onyx and this one's regular black. And then I also have the limited edition orange mirror that came in the Halloween Mystery Boxes of 2019. I really, really want every single mirror in the entire collection. So if anybody can help me out with that, let me know. Also, when I do purchase mirrors, I keep the boxes and I want the box in perfect condition, like the sticker not disturbed and everything. Uh, I do have every single box lined up in the top of my closet with the sticker not disturbed because I'm crazy. Uh, next, I have the Morphe collaboration with him, the eye brush set. And obviously you can see they're all well used. The JS12 brush, the JS13 brush, the JS6 brush, the JS10 brush, the JS14 brush, the JS5 brush, the JS7 brush, which is the eye brush bully, the JS11 brush, the JSH brush, and the JS9 brush. All right, I'm next gonna move on to what I have over on my Alex drawer that stores my makeup, and that is the small pink glitter lipstick holders. And I've talked about this in a previous video, but they're the, the bundles here, just organized. Just organized in color order. I have equality, then the red one, then the blue, and then the purple one. Lined up in both of these. And I will talk about all of those shades more when I get to up there. All right, so let's move on to here. Let's just go with the item that fell, which is the Conspiracy Collection Lipstick Bundle. Looks like this. And it's got the colors Sheen, Are You Filming, Ryland, I Gotta Go, Jeffrey What The F, and Oh My God. 
and I actually love that it comes in this. Behind it, I have my four lipstick bundle packages. So equality, and it's the shades Diva, Red Rum, Flamethrower, Queen Bee, Equality, Breakfast at Tiffany's, Blue Velvet, and I'm Royal. And then I have the Love Me, Love Me Not bundle. And those are the shades Doll Parts, Calabasas, Wifey, Watermelon Soda, Anna Nicole, Prom Night, Red Rum, and Unicorn Blood. As you'll see, I have a couple duplicates. And then the blue blood one is Drug Lord, Ice Tray, Drawbreaker, Blue Velvet, Abused, Diamond, Titanic, and Medusa. The Bloodlust collection. And those are Royal Armor, I'm Vulgar, I'm Royalty, Scorpio, Virginity, Blow Pony, Clout, and Berries on Ice. All very, very pretty shades. And then next to that on the other side, I have my Cremated Collection makeup bag. And what I keep in there is the Cremated palette. If you haven't seen this video yet, it'll be linked down below. The look I created with this was really cool. We're now going to transition down one shelf, which I know you can't see properly, but I'll show you everything that's related on it. So I have the Morphe Jeffree Star lip bundle, and I have the Iconic Nudes one. I think the other one's red. And something interesting about this, I actually ordered this from the Morphe website, and when it came, the clear one, which is in the shade First Impressions, actually came with no stopper in it. Like, there's no stopper for the lip gloss, and it all poured out all over the entire packaging. So I have, like, none left, and I just keep it set up here so that it won't spill everywhere. And so the other lip glosses that came in that bundle are Slurp and Star Crown. And the top one's Star Crown, and the bottom one's Slurp. And it also came with the two lip colors that I used today, which is Leo and Mannequin. And next, I have the white... These are not very stable. I have the white sparkly lipstick holder and you'll see here that I have a whole empty row here which is where I normally keep the conspiracy ones but I have them out because I've been trying to plan that video for a little while. So let's start with the first row. With the first row I have the five colors that are from the Bloodlust collection and those are the shades Lord Star, Sorcery, Sickening, Iridescent Throne which is the one I'm wearing today, and Wizard's Glass, which is the most interesting one. The next ones in line are the cremated glosses. And those are in the shades Heaven's Gate, Corner's Kiss, Funeral Parlor, and Six Feet Under. The next row is actually irrelevant because they're not Jeffree Star lipsticks. So I'll continue up another row. And I have the shades Purple Urkel. And the next five are from the five year anniversary holiday collection. And it's Doll Parts, Androgyny, Drug Lord, Mistletoe, and Ho Ho Ho. I have the Christmas Mystery Box Red Shade, the shade Weirdo, it's Blank Whipped, Soft Serve, First Class, Venus Flytrap, Zombie Kiss, which is a gorgeous purple, and the shade Soul Sucker. And both Zombie Kiss and Soul Sucker are the limited edition Halloween ones. On to all of the rest of the stuff in front of me. I'm gonna start with highlighters. So in the Skin Frost formula, I have two, and this one's in the shade Deep Freeze, and it's the blue one. And then I have the Mystery Frost shade, which is this one. And then in the Supreme Frost, I also have two. The bronze one is in the shade Caramel Kiss, and the green one is in the shade Candy Apple Drip. And I also have the Liquid Frost formula, I have two of those as well. This one's in the shade Goddess, and this one's in the shade Ice Queen. In the Extreme Frost formula, I have two as well. Two is a common theme here. I have this one, which is the shade Gag Me, and then I have the purple one, which is the shade Choking on Ice. And then I also have the Loved Peppermint Frost palette, and that has the three shades Ugly Sweater, Igloo Gold, and Chocolate Ice. And let me tell you, it's so pretty. Those are the three shades. They are insanely good. And it's the Skin Frost Pro palette. So I think they're all Skin Frost formulas. And these are the swatches of the two Extreme Frosts. The shade Gag Me and then Choking on Ice. Look how glowy and gorgeous those are. And then the Supreme Frost colors. Really pretty together, actually. And then the Skin Frost formulas. 
deep freeze and then the mystery one the mystery one is a little bit sheerer than a lot of the other ones but it comes out really really pretty on the face i usually layer the mystery frost with the shade caramel kiss and then the liquid frosts this one's ice queen and this one is goddess i'm moving on now to my lip ammunition collection which is very very small i just have three colors i have the shade glazed candy freeze and yummy all three of them look like they'd be different colors, but they all kind of translate to the same. They're just like a slightly different undertone. Now for the rest of my glasses that I don't have there because I don't have room, I have the shade Midnight Lick, the shade Succulent, which has to be my absolute favorite. It looks so good. I actually have a picture of it on my Instagram and my lips have never looked so good in my entire life. I have the shade Sky High. I have the Conspiracy Collection with Shane Dawson in the shade in the shade Shane Glasson. I'm not going to be swatching any of the lip ammunitions, the glosses, or the liquid lipsticks today because one would be here forever and two my hands would be stained and glittery and I don't got time for that mess. So if you'd like a more in-depth look at all of my lipsticks and things like that, maybe I'll do a video on that too. And I also have the Diet Shane lip balm. I only have one velour lip pencil and it's in the shade Scorpio. Kind of worn down but it's very pretty. It layers really nicely with other pink lipstick colors. And I have three lip scrubs. I have Blue Freeze, Cucumber Mint, and Blue Raspberry Sucker. And Blue Raspberry Sucker is my absolute favorite. Mmm. Tastes so good and smells so good. And on to the rest of the Morphe collaboration with him. I have the palette and the spray. The spray smells great. I do recommend. And then I have the palette. Use this a few times. And now for the rest of my palettes. We're almost done. My collection may seem large when like you look at my background, but it's not as large as everybody thinks it is. And it's not as large as I thought it was either. All right, so I have both the Jaw Breaker and the Mini Breaker, which if you guys watch my videos, you know Jaw Breaker is my absolute favorite palette ever. And it's the only palette I've ever panned. I have his original two eyeshadow palettes, Androgyny, and Beauty Killer. I actually haven't gotten the chance to use Beauty Killer yet. I of course have the Bloodlust palette, one of my also favorites. I have the Alien palette, which I'm very happy to have because it is no longer carried. Another thing that's no longer carried that I'm really happy to have is the Thirsty palette. And of course I also have the Conspiracy Collection palettes, the mini without put it back, but we're working on that. And then the actual palette itself. Most anticipated palette of the, like, of the century, of ever. Pretty sure there's not gonna be something that's more sought over than this in the beauty world. My last but not least palette from Jeffree Star is Blue Blood. And as I'm sure you guys have already realized, I do not have the Blood Sugar palette. It is the only Jeffree Star palette that I am missing from my collection. All right, and that is my Jeffree Star collection. It is ever-growing, though. Like I said, I have a few things on the way from the Conspiracy Collection and mirrors and things like that. I will continue to do updates on what I'm getting. I usually talk about it in my videos anyways. And if you have any questions about anything that I have or anything that I talked about, let me know in the comments. I also am really particular about things. And I have almost every single packaging for every single one of these products. Almost every single one. If you'd like to see an in-depth tutorial on any of these things that I have not already posted, besides the Conspiracy Collection, let me know down below. Because I am doing a Conspiracy Collection video soon. I was going to do it this week, but that ended up not working out that way because I have more stuff coming for the Conspiracy Collection. And I'd rather do a whole video on everything. Thanks so much for watching my video today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next week. Bye.